Where is he? He's in uh, Matagami. Fuck's sakes. What did he say? Anything? Yeah, he said, have a, have a good trip. Well, we have reached Stacy. I'm not available to take your call right now. Please leave a message. Do you want to ride up to the dam and take pictures since we're yeah, all fucking sunset. here? <laughs> a few days later, Stacy reached out and explained why he left. He said that that morning, when the three of us rode to the top of the dam, he rode to the main entrance instead. He admitted that he wasn't paying attention and didn't hear us discussing the plans. Well, not over yet. <laughs> when he got to the gate and we weren't there, he thought we went to Shisasibi without him. He said he got panicked and turned around, so he just decided to ride back home. When we asked him later why he never called, he just said that in that moment, he didn't think about it. Hey James, look at the camera. The next morning, we packed and set off. So we are right now leaving Radisson. From now on in, it's south. And what is that? We have some 600 kilometers to do today, at least. Come back to Matagami, and then from there we're gonna judge, see where we are, and how we feel. But because of our little incident yesterday, we are about 500, 500 clicks behind behind schedule. James, who was having less and less fun on his damaged speed triple, raced ahead to the Relay 381 gas station. Now we just have to make one last little stop. The Trans Taiga Highway. Unfortunately, because of yesterday's events, we are sort of forced to go in for about 5 minutes, 10 minutes. Enjoy for a bit, say that yes, we've done it, we've been on the trans -Tiger. And then turn around and go back home. I'm just going to take a picture of the bike and that's it, we can go. We will come back here one day and finish off the Trans Tiger. James Bay Highway had one more surprise in store for us. Darren pulled off the highway to make yet another chain adjustment. This time though, he realized why he was having problems with his chain. It was his rear wheel bearings and they were slowly disintegrating. We were broken down on the James Bay Highway. Luckily for us, the locals around these parts are amazing. Two minutes later, we were rescued. Okay, so we had a breakdown. And uh, so we're on the side of the road, and about two minutes later, the very first truck 
just so happens to have a trailer so comes by and picks us up what the heck The guys in the truck, who themselves live some 50 kilometers north of the Relay 381, agreed to take us as far as the gas station. We will be forever grateful to those three guys. I'm just glad it's you, not me. <laughs> James was patiently waiting for us at the gas station. Now we have to find someone to take Darren's crippled KLR down to Matagami. There, finding a wheel bearing would be a lot easier and cheaper. James, in the meantime, managed to find a driver who agreed to take his panniers down to the Kilometer 1 check-in kiosk. His broken rack would be spared the 387-kilometer beating. Soon, Darren also found help. Three Cree sisters, on their way to Sudbury, agreed to take Darren and his broken bike to Amos. And just like that, we were back on track. Catching up with the sisters was impossible. They were in a hurry and they knew these roads. We knew we would be meeting up with Darren and Amos, so we took our time. We took a break on the mighty Rupert River. our James Bay trip was coming to a close. Bikes were taking a beating, but they were holding together. When we hit the construction, we knew we were close to the end. All that remained now was just checking out. I love this highway. I've been here before, and I will be back again. Riding here can become a true adventure. And all this is right in our backyard. road, the great distances, the loneliness, the forests and the rivers, and most of all, all the people. Everything is incredible this far up north. That would have been your fault. If you ever get a chance, 
come out this way. It's worth it. We met up with Darren in Amos. He got everything organized. We got a hotel, beers, and he knew exactly where to go in the morning to get everything sorted out with the Barons. He installed his back wheel and we were off shortly after breakfast. We were now heading home. Home to our families. Again. We said goodbye to Darren. Why? You're all sweaty. You're you're all wet. Yeah. Give that to mom. Are you still? <laughs> Hi. Punch it in. Bang. Punch it in. Bang. 